In this problem, we have to find the value of b so that the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x exists. So we want to find b so that this limit actually exists. So in order for this limit to exist, the one-sided limits have to be um, real numbers, they have to exist, and they have to be equal. So what we'll do in this problem is we'll just take both one-sided limits uh, as x approaches 2, and then we'll just make them equal to each other and see what happens. So we'll start by taking the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of f of x. So because we're approaching 2 from the left, x is less than 2. If you're not convinced of that, what you can do is you can draw a little picture on the side like this, write down the 2, and then put the x on the left. And notice that x is approaching 2, and in particular, x is less than 2. So everything is good. That means we're using this condition here. So now we're going to replace f of x with the top piece. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of 1 half x plus b. And now we can replace x with 2. So this is 1 half times 2 plus b. We drop the limit sign. So 1 half times 2 is 1, so this is 1 plus b. So we've basically worked out just the limit from the left. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to find b, again, so that this limit exists. So we want the one-sided limits to be the same. So now we're going to take the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. And we're approaching from the right, so that means x is bigger than 2. And if we're not convinced of that, what you can do is go to the side, write down 2, and then put x on the right. And you'll notice x is bigger than 2. So that means we use the bottom condition here. So we go ahead and replace our f of x with this piece here, negative x plus 6, just like that. And now we've reached a point where we can actually evaluate the limit. We can just plug in the 2, drop the limit sign. So this is negative 2 plus 6, and that's equal to 4. Okay, so in order for the limit to exist, this one here, the limit as x approaches 2, the one-sided limits have to exist. That means they have to be numbers, which they both are. And they have to be equal. So now what we do is we set these equal. So we take 1 plus b, and we set it equal to 4. And then we solve for b. So now we can just subtract 1, subtract 1. Boom, there it is. The answer is b equals 3. And that would be it. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.